Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batur, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. Okay, so in the previous video, we have done question number one of activity 7.7 .7 of your book. Now, in this video, we will be doing question number two. Okay, so let's quickly see what is the question. Write an algorithm using, look at here. You have to write an algorithm using pseudocode to check the age and height of a child who wants to go on a fairground ride. The age must be over 7 and under 12. The height must be over 110 centimeters and under 150 centimeters for a child to take the ride. Okay, so it is very clear. Let's write down the data that is given to us to make the things clear given data first of all according to the data it is very clear that what you have to do you have to take inputs from the user and what are the inputs number one you have to take the age of the child and number two you have to take the height of the child and what is the eligibility criteria for the child to take the right eligibility criteria. The eligi eligibility criteria says that age of the child, let's make it a little thin, okay, okay, the age is or must be greater than 7 and less than 12. Only in this case, if the age is within 7 to 12, it means it must be 8, 9, 10 or 11. If the age is 8 or 9 or 10 or 11, only in that case, the child will be eligible for the ride. And what is the eligibility criteria for the height of the child? The height must be greater than 110 centimeters because the, it is written that it must be over 110. Over means greater than and under means less than. So, less than 150 centimeters. So, height can be 120, 125, 137. Or even if it is 149, which is less than 150. So the child is eligible for the ride. Now let's write down opposite of it. That is a non-eligibility criteria. Why I'm writing this? To make the things clear for you when we will be writing the pseudocode. The non-eligibility criteria says that your age, if less than equals to 7. It means if it is 7, if it is 6, 5, 4 or even less than that, then you are not eligible for the ride. And the other thing is age if greater than and equals to 12. It is just the opposite of the eligibility criteria. If age is 12, 13, 14 and so on, then child will not be eligible. Same goes for the height. For a height, if the height is less than equals to 110 centimeters, it means that if the height is 90 or 105 or even 110 or 109 and whatsoever. If it is less than equals to 110, then child is not eligible. <clears throat> and the other condition for height is if the height is greater than equals to 150. Let's suppose it is 155, it is 200 and whatsoever. Then child is not eligible. So these four conditions, if any of these conditions or, or, or. If any of these conditions 
becomes true then the child cannot take the ride but to take the ride for the eligibility this conditions must be true and this condition must be true both the conditions needs to be true for a child to take the ride but if it's a non eligibility criteria then if any of these conditions becomes true then the child is not able to take the ride now let's quickly move towards the pseudo code okay you have to write an algorithm in form of pseudo code so the first thing i will do here is to show the user an output message oh sorry for this let's write it nicely output message to the user says that please enter let's take age of the child first of your sorry for this okay age of your child this is the output message that i have displayed on the screen for the user so that he will enter the age now if the user inputs the age we will save it in a variable named age next we will use an if condition and if condition inside the if condition we will write two conditions of the age that makes the child non eligible yes now quickly see this for non eligibility either the age is less than equals to 7 or the age is greater than equals to 7 if any one of these conditions becomes true the child is not eligible so let's write down both the conditions in if statement if the age is less than equals to 7 if this conditions becomes true or if age is greater than equals to 12 or this condition becomes true if any of these two conditions becomes true what you will do you will show a message write down then there will be a output message for the user oh sorry for this to tell the user child is not eligible eligible to take the ride it's up to you what message you want to send this is it now let's suppose we have such an age that is greater than 7 and less than 12 then both the conditions will become false and if both of these two conditions becomes false where we will go we will go to else and in else what we will do we will take input for the height of the user yes so let's write down in else we only go to else when the age is valid or age is eligible so now let's take height of the child as an input the second step you can do this in various ways i am using a nested if to write down the pseudo code for this example but it's up to you how you are going to do the example there are various ways to do one single thing in programming okay now i am taking once the age is valid now i will be taking height of the child i'll ask the user please enter 
height of sorry for this please enter height of your child so next you will ask for height now you will take height in an input variable named height again you will be using an if condition over here when we use another if inside one if it is known as a nested if if you don't know about nested if go ahead in my previous video i have made one video on nested if statements so you can also watch that now i will be writing another if here and inside the if statement i will write the conditions for non eligibility we know that if the height is less than equals to 110 or the height is greater than equals to 150 cm in both the cases either any one of these condition conditions becomes true what would be the message the message will be write down then and then write down an output message both conditions in if any of these conditions becomes true then you will show a display message the child is not eligible even if the age is eligible but the height is not eligible then you will be showing this message child is not eligible okay okay so in the other case else what you will do else you know that if these conditions becomes false then we know that the child is eligible so you can write down an output message in else that child oh sorry child child is eligible sorry for this handwriting is eligible to take right this will be the message that tells the user that age and height both are appropriate to take the ride and now remember that when you start with if you have to end that if and since we have used two if if statements so we will be writing end if two times okay this is it this is all about the pseudo code for question number 2 now let's dry run it quickly to tell you that how it is going to work okay let's suppose this is my screen and in my screen the first message according to my pseudo code would be i am asking the user please enter age of your child so there will be written please enter age of your child this is the message that will be visible to me and once i will enter age let's suppose i enter age that is a uh, 6 so we know that if it is 6 then we will go to the if condition and here since age is less than equals to 7 which is 6 so this becomes true the first condition of if statement becomes true so no need to check for the height why because age is already not eligible for the child to take the ride so you will see an error or uh, sorry you will see a message that child is not eligible not not eligible because 
the system already has checked the age and since age is not within the given uh, limit that's why we will show a display message that child is not eligible and we will not go towards else it will be an and if now let's suppose in other case if the age is within the limit uh, the user has entered 9 so we know that when the user enters 9 as an age so both of these conditions age less than equals to 7 or age greater than equals to 12 both the conditions becomes false and remember that if both conditions becomes false then we will not go to the to then we will go to else and inside else now the user will be given another message please enter height of your child now the user the system is asking to enter the height of the child now let's suppose the height of the child is uh, 160 centimeters so quickly it is going to check for these two conditions height is less than equals to 110 or height is greater than equals to 110 and remember that the second condition height is greater than equals to 150 will become true why because we know that the a height entered by the user is 160 which is greater than 150 so now since one of these two conditions becomes true you will move towards then and inside then you will show a message that child is not eligible but why the child is not eligible because this time the height is not appropriate so again you will show that child is not eligible so remember that even if the age is fine or age is within the li limit but the height is not within the limit then still the child cannot take the ride okay but let's suppose in the second step the child the height of the child is 120 centimeters so in this case when we will see the condition of the second if both the condition becomes false why because height is not less than equals to 150 and height is not greater than equals to 150 sorry 110 and 150 it is between them 120 is somewhere between 110 and 150 that's why both condition becomes false false and if both the condition becomes false you will not go to then statement you will go to the else statement and when you will go to the else statement now you will get a message that child is eligible to take ride or you can print the ticket depends upon your system that whatever you have to do next you will do next but here what i am doing i am just showing a message to the user that child is eligible Sorry for this handwriting, sometime it gets terrible to take <laughs> right. So this is all about the pseudo code I have done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or any queries related to that, you can comment below. And remember that I said for one single problem there are various ways or various solutions to it so you can do this example in the other way as well okay so stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel in the next video we will be doing question number three bye bye see you